So everything's going along just fine, but I know, there's always a but, right? You get hit and notice a bar indicating some sort of buildup. Build up to what? Could be anything. Could happen in reverse. That, my dear puppets, is what we call status ailments. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Los Angel of Havoc here, a.k.a. Late Tato, the one and only high priest of the congregation. Welcome back to Late Tato Clips, where we've got a little bit of everything. Now, as I mentioned before, today we are going to be talking about status ailments. Status ailments have a common presence across many games with RPG elements. It's commonly associated with element-based damage, but also can be triggered by the environment. Shout out to Blighttown from Dark Souls. And if you know, you know. Now that said, status ailments are a hallmark of the Souls genre, and as with other things, Lies of P takes this concept and approaches it with a creative elegance in execution. Now before we dive in, please be sure to click that thumbs up button. It does a lot to help the channel grow, and if you want to catch more content like this, why not hit subscribe as well? Also, be sure to stick around until the end of the video for tips on ways to dish out these status ailments to the enemies you'll face on your journey through Krat. Let's get started. First. There's electric shock, which is caused by electric blitz damage. Once it's fully built up, you'll take increased damage and your fable slots will also be drained for the duration of the effect. Electric shock can also be inflicted upon enemies once they've received enough electric blitz damage. As with the player, enemies affected by electric shock take increased damage. You'll know electric shock has set in for your enemy when the damage numbers turn blue. Next up, we have overheat, or in other words, burn damage. Overheat causes damage over time when fully built up, and players also take increased damage. It will also affect how much health can be restored through your guard regain. While there are items that increase your resistance to overheat buildup and or remove it, players can dodge to decrease and eliminate the buildup. Enemies are affected in the same way by overheat and visibly appear to be on fire for a time when the effect is active. The numbers when overheated enemies take damage also turn orange. Corruption is next on the list, and it's an old favorite. Corruption acts as Liza P's version of poison damage and is generally relegated to poison pools in the Workshop Union Culvert and the Barren Swamp areas of the game. When affected by corruption, you will continuously lose health until the effect ends. Enemies cannot be affected by corruption. Moving along, we find one of the more unique status ailments that Liza P has to offer in the form of decay. Decay is caused by a buildup of acid damage. When the effect is building up, it will decrease your weapon durability quicker than normal and you'll take increased damage from enemies. And when Decay is fully built up and active, your weapon durability will continually decrease until the effect ends. Enemies affected by Decay will take increased acid damage and the damage numbers will turn a bluish green color. The next status effect on our list is Shock. Shock damage can be inflicted by large enemies as well as environmental hazards. Unlike overheat, electric shock, etc., shock damage takes effect immediately upon hit. While in shock, you'll have reduced stamina recovery for the duration of the effect. Now we have break damage to go over. Break is kind of fun. Like shock, break damage can be inflicted by certain enemy types as well as environmental hazards like bear traps. It's also applied immediately upon taking damage, and while affected, using your pulse cells restores less health. And finally, we have Disruption. Now, if you've played Dark Souls, then you might know this effect by another name, Curse. Disruption is simple. It's instant death if it fully builds up. Mere proximity to certain enemies or environmental hazards like yellow ergo crystals can cause disruption to build up, and some enemies can even do area of effect attacks that will cause it as well. Needless to say, best to avoid letting it build up by any means necessary. Like with corruption, break, shock, and disruption have no effect on enemies whatsoever. And now that we've covered all of the various status ailments in Lies of P, if you've gotten this far, you must want a little bit more, right? I mean, would I leave you unfulfilled? Moi? Would I hold out on you? Never. Couldn't be me. So now we're shifting focus to countermeasures. Attribute resistance ampules can be used to slow the effect buildups for electric shock, overheat, decay, and corruption, while attribute purification ampules will remove these effects entirely. Likewise, special resistance ampules can slow the buildup of shock, break, and disruption, while special purification ampules completely remove the effects. 
There are a good number of different defense parts, such as cartridges and converters, that will also increase your resistance to status effects. So be sure to go through your defense parts inventory from time to time if you're encountering particular damage types and want to have some extra resistance. As for dishing out damage, several weapons intrinsically build up status effect damage. The Salamander Dagger, for example, builds up fire damage while the Electric Coil Stick deals electric blitz. Damage type follows the blade part of a weapon as well, so that's something to keep in mind when making combinations. Always be sure to read your weapon descriptions thoroughly, as well as their fable arts to learn if they have any status effect damage whatsoever. If they do, they will scale with advanced, which we covered previously when we talked about stats. That said, happy hunting friends. That's all for this one. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, please do me a solid and give it a thumbs up. It might seem like a little bit, but it does go a long way in terms of helping this channel grow. And if you want to see more, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss any new videos. Once again, my name is Los Angel of Havoc. Thanks for watching Latato Clips. We will see you next time, friends. Same late time, same late channel.